Okay. Well, Plus, I'll, we didn't I'll really get to see. Rematch, then. We we didn't really get to see what um what your deck. I didn't even play Yubel. I know the fucking deck is called Yubel Castle, and I didn't even play Yubel. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this is not our first time at Where's the Premise Town. We've been here a couple times <laughs> when we do these matchups. Like, well, I had a point. I just I just couldn't get to it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let me see here. New match. New conditions. I'm going to set this monster. And I'm going to set these two cards. Go ahead. Yeah. Alright. Um, hmm. Uh, alright. I'm going to set... I'm going to set this card. I'm going to put this monster into defense mode. And I'm going to activate uh, Legendary Ocean. Is that okay? Yes. All right, I will end. When you go to your end step, I'm going to activate my face down card, Nightmare Archfiends. Okay. Sacrifice Sangan, and you create three Nightmare Archfiend tokens uh, uh, in I, attack position. I always forget if they're in attack mode or not. They are, in fact, in attack mode. Okay. And then when these creatures are summoned, I'm going to activate my trap card, Torrential Tribute. Okay. Destroy then... all monsters. Hmm. Uh, your nightmare archfiends has to go uh, to the to the graveyard first, but yeah. All right, and I lose twenty four hundred because nightmare Ar the the nightmare tokens deal eight hundred when they are destroyed. That's correct. So massive damage is dealt. It's one of the things that this deck does is deal massive damage turn by turn, or at least it tries to, like an aspiration. Um, well, see, I'd like to do that. Oh, yeah, that's right. I never fucking resolved Sangan's effect because I'm an idiot. So that means I have to put this card back on top of the deck because that could not have possibly been the choice if I had to shuffle the deck first. Okay, so going through the... Going through the deck now... Which card am I going to get with Sangan's ability? Um, Armageddon Knight. Yeah, Armageddon Knight might honestly be the choice right now. If I could find him because there's only one of them. Any second now. Is it me, or did Dueling Book get worse while we were gone for like a couple of weeks? <laughs> um, I think its connection has gotten worse. But then again, the rumor going around that I have heard is that the that the internet uh, na uh, nationally has actually been getting worse. Daniel's ha been having huge issues. Taylor uh, Taylor's been going in and out. I know for a fact that our ISP has been fading almost one has, has been fading out almost once a day. Ah, social commentary. Um, so, back to the game now. It looks like I have... I mean, I, yeah, yeah, I mean, that's basically the point, right? Armageddon Knight on an open opponent. you sending you Bell. But, not you Bell, because I don't want to put you Bell in the graveyard if I don't have the means to actually, like, get him going. At least not at present. I'd rather go into an alternative course in order to set up a contingency plan. At least something I can count on in case maybe I simply do not get trapped in this menu right here while I search out the card I'm looking for. Much of my menu is invisible right now. That's what I'm dealing with. Jeez. Evil Ultimate Nightmare goes to the graveyard. Right. Exit menu. I'm going to go into my battle phase and swing at you directly. Okay, I'll take 14. 14. 300 damage is dealt, and I have a commanding lead of the game at the moment. I'm going to end my turn. Hmm. All right. Um. All right. I'm going to normal summon my Hebo, Lord of the River. Is that okay? Yes, that is okay. Going to use his effect, targeting Armageddon Knight. Okay. And then I'm going to have Hebo, Lord of the River, attack Armageddon Knight for 600. Is that a May? Is that a may or a must that uh, you have to target? Uh, it's a sure. can. I, I I don't have to target, but in the event, uh, but in the event that uh, you have a method of, of keeping Armageddon Knight alive, Hebo will, uh, Hebo's bounce effect will still activate even if he leaves the field. So, yes. All right. Um. During my main phase two, I'm going to activate Spiritual Water or uh, uh, AOI. Hmm. Well, don't you have an interesting choice ahead of you? Here you go. Uh, well, the one that you want me to get rid of because it hurts so much is Phantom of Chaos, but I'm going to get rid of uh, Dark Refer instead. It's getting rid of Dark Refer. 
He's in the graveyard now, where he's mostly useless, because I would never get him back with Call of the Haunted. And he's limited to one in this format. He's proud of himself. I am going to normal summon Psychic Ace. Okay, then. Swing in the Gurdab for a thousand. Main phase two. I'm going to put a card face down. And that's about it. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to set a monster, and I will end my turn. Got to build. You got to build. Okay, what am I doing now? Um, hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to put... Actually, no, that's fucking useless, though. It is useless right now. Completely useless. Um, so I can't do that. I'm going to normal summon Phantom of Chaos. Okay. Um. The, here, he, he's, don't worry, he's, he's coming. <laughs> he's definitely coming. Maybe if I special summon him. <laughs> add some excitement to our game. Or if my menu would just do, what? Well, I think I think the game is just I think I just put in a queue of commands and now the game is trying to keep up right now. So you're saying that the internet is like overall slowing down right now? Um mm, <laughs> not between you and me. Now there it goes. There okay. All right, we've done the things now. Like inter no. like but supposedly Where? internationally not internationally or at, or at least across my state, the uh the internet has been, you know, uh, uh, well, rather, at least in my local area, I I, I need to specify that a bit better. Uh, the internet has been supposedly worse. I'm gonna use my duplicate of Yubel Nightmare. All right. Or to attack your face down. Um. Uh, Damn it! He's got zero attack. <laughs> there's that. Uh, my question is: Does Ultimate Nightmare happen before damage? No, it happens at end of damage. Okay, so I do flip up. Uh, Snowman Eater's effect is gonna blow up Psychic Ace. Okay, Psychic Ace is now dead. Snowman Eater is dead as a, as a result of being attacked by a duplicate of Ultimate Nightmare. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to end my turn now. I, fuck, of course, the, the, the one... The one <laughs> Remember, because Yu-Gi-Oh! used to be a game where it mattered that you had face-down cards on the field. It used to. All right, <laughs> I'm going to <laughs> activate Solidarity. That all right? Okay. Then I'm going to normal summon Yomi Ship. See, Yomi Ship is a very important part of the deck. Yomi Ship. Okay. Well, let's hope I don't die in five well, you, turns. Oh, it's, uh, you don't take battle damage. Uh, from, uh, from your, rather, your opponent doesn't take battle damage. But uh, uh, he's got 18 right now, dude. Legendary Ocean. Legendary Ocean. Cool. Okay. Uh, so, so, to Hundo... Menos. All right, and I will end. Alrighty then. Huh. Hmm. Okay. I am going to activate Monster Reborn. Okay. Now the question is, what is the most powerful thing I could get right now? Um, from your graveyard. Uh, I can't get Hebo Lord of the River because he can't be special summoned. Uh, it probably would be Dark Refer. Mm. Highest by attack. Yeah. Well, and, oh, although that's right, you don't have any cards in your hand. So if if you're trying to set up, it's actually Sankin then. Well, actually, if I'm trying to set up, so I love blowing shit up. Armageddon Knight is coming back from the graveyard. Okay. Now a couple things happen. Timing is correct for me to activate my uh, T-Tribute to kill all the monsters, and then his effect goes off so I can send a Yubel for my deck to the graveyard. There, there, I finally got I finally got Yubel 1 in the game. He's four four games in, and we finally get the Yubel play. Game 1 it's doesn't count. One the... It's not fair that you got dicked over by internet connection menus. I'm going to end my turn now. Uh, can pretty, you send? Yeah, he's, he's in the graveyard. Can you I, send I the to, rest of your uh, spell and traps, though? That. What's up? Can you send the rest of your spell and traps, though? Torrential tribute and monster reborn. 
Oh yeah. Distribute. But my, I remember, I can't, I can't see some of the cards on the board. That's what I'm, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I forget that they're there. <laughs> All right. Glad you could see them though. <laughs> Mm. All right, I'm going to summon Gradle Alligator. Is that okay? Yep. I'm going to have Gradle Alligator attack uh, attack directly for 1,500. 1,500. Okay. Next, I'm going to set a card, and I will end. My God. I am going to activate my Call the Archfiend. Okay. Why? Fuck, that's why. Actually, I'm going to not activate my Call of the Archfiend, but now you know it's there. Because it's the only move I have left now. <laughs> Alright, during your uh, during your end phase, I'm going to activate Metal Reflect Slime. Is that okay? Yes, that is cool. Alright, and to defense mode. Cool. Very cool. Now, unfortunately, I can't go into Egyptian God Slime because my Metal Reflect Slime is not a level 10 monster right now. But what I can do is sacrifice my... Oh yeah, because my of the... Yeah, that's the that is the one piece of di of disenergy that uh, Legendary Ocean and Metal Reflect Slime have for my deck. Anyway, I'm going to uh, sacrifice Metal Reflect Slime in order to summon Mobius the Frost Monarch and use Mobius's effect uh, on your uh, face down. All right. So then, when you, you play Mobius, I can still activate the card even though you targeted it for destruction. Mm -hmm. Call the Archfiend. I discard a Yubel, and now I special summon a Yubel. Mm. Mm. So you can't kill me this turn, not hardly. Mm, that is correct. All right, uh, then I'm going to set a card face down, and I'm going to switch my Gradle Alligator to defense mode. Cool I will lands. end. I bet you do. I'm going to normal summon my Plague Spreader Zombie. Okay. And then I'm going to sink for 12. Sink for 12 to the Assault Blackwing Omaro the Divine Thunder. There he is. This card cannot be destroyed by card effects, but it can be destroyed by battle. That is the only ability that applies to this game, because I don't have any of the Blackwings. Now, there's another problem, is that if I kill your great alligator, you fucking gain control of it. But I'm already done with this game, because I've definitely lost this one. Kill the alligator. Mm, uh, just, okay. just take him. Mm, uh, your deck is too powerful. <laughs> I cannot escape the gravitational force of what is happening. Great alligator's effect activates stealing Omaru the Divine uh -huh. Thunder. Because it's stupid. I'm going to end my turn. I, I do think that the Gradles are kind of, like, it's, it's a little eyebrow-raising how fucking powerful these little things are. Mm. All right. And yes, I lose the game because I am about to receive 5,450 million points to the face. Alright. Uh, Mobius will attack directly for 3,400. 34. And then Amaro the Divine Thunder will attack for 3,000. 3,000, and I lose the game. <laughs> <sighs> Shall we play until I win? <laughs> uh, I was hoping we would. I ain't done fuck. I ain't done fucking jack shit yet. <laughs> I was hoping we would play at least until until you got your your really cool uh, tank combos off. Because Mobius killed it. Mobius killed it. You got the Mobius. You got the rank up magic. And I'm gonna try to be positive for the rest of this recording, so I don't turn off our viewers.